Mix 106 movie reviews with Willie Waffle. Three new movies out this week. The first one starring Kevin Cosner, Gary Oldman, and Tommy Lee Jones called Criminal. Then we have Barbershop, The Next Cut. And Disney has the new live action feature of their old cartoon starring Bill Murray, Ben Kingsley, Idris Elba, and Scarlett Johansson. It's The Jungle Book. This isn't your mama's Jungle Book, people. Oh, no, you think you know the story. You think you know the cartoon. Well, get ready to have all that blown out of the water. It's going to have to because I've read the book, I've seen the cartoon, and when I saw this was coming out, I was just, meh. Well, you know, I was feeling that way, too. I was very worried that maybe this was a case of Disney making a movie not for art's sake, but because, well, we're going to make a ton of money if we make another Jungle Book movie. But this one delivers. I, I think it's a nice, darker take on the Jungle Book. You've got this young kid, this Neil Seti, uh, starring as Mowgli, and the, the, uh, the animals in the, in the jungle have raised him. He's been raised with a pack of wolves, but his life is in danger because an evil tiger, Shere Khan, voiced by Idris Elba, has decided he wants to get revenge for being burned and partially blinded years ago by man, and he's going to get revenge on little Mowgli unless they can get him out of the jungle. And it really is just this thrilling series of chases and battles and characters facing the ultimate demise at every turn. It's a reminder that everything in nature wants to kill you. (laughs) So it's not cheesy with the real people and the talking animals? No, because then they just sing the bare necessities. (laughs) <laughs> That's my favorite. Got the bare necessities. You know, you have to give it to Disney. I mean, their marketing plan for whatever you think and how expensive it is is brilliant because once again, this is going to cause kids everywhere to want to go to Disneyland yeah, to see right, Jungle yeah. Land. Well, but I think you got to be careful with little kids in this movie. It is a darker tone. It is a more frightening tone. And you've got this great cast of actors bringing it all to life. You know, Idris Elba as the evil tiger, I mean, he just has this menacing voice. He is the perfect villain. He can give adults nightmares. <laughs> hey, but if kids can make it through The Lion King, I think they can make it through this. Wow, I hadn't thought about that. There, 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 there is a Lion King moment or two. See? In this movie. So what do you give it? I'm going to say three and a half waffles. Nice. Okay. Um, All right, the movie I'm really looking forward to, just because I don't think he makes bad movies. Kevin Costner stars in Criminal. Well, let me change your mind about that. Really? Oh, it's so bad. I mean, Kevin Costner is basically growling his way through this movie like he's doing a bad Batman impression. And, you know, he plays this, like, maximum security prisoner who's being used for a CIA experiment. Why, there's a CIA agent played by Ryan Reynolds, who has information they need to save the world, and he dies. So now they're going to suck his memories out of his brain and put him into Kevin Costner's. So think about this. They've taken CIA training and CIA skills and given them to a psychopath. So this is based on a true story, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> now keep in mind, you're telling me I'm go- you're changing my mind on Kevin Costner. I'm, I'm the guy who liked The Postman in Waterworld. Oh, well, you know, then you might be the one person who likes this movie, in addition to <laughs> Kevin Costner's person. wife. But it's got great... Tommy Lee Jones, Gary Oldman, for God's sake, and Gal Gadot, my new favorite? You know, Tommy Lee Jones is sleepwalking his way through the movie. You know, he's the, the doctor who comes up with the experiment. Gary Oldman's just yelling and screaming his way through the movie because, darn it, he's got to save the world. And Gal Gadot gets saddled with the worst part of the story because she was Ryan Reynolds' wife. Oh, and and... And Kevin Costner's starting to remember all the all the love between Gal Gadot and Ryan Reynolds, and he's never felt love before. I have to oh, ad- I have to God. admit, as much as you know, you may like Kevin Costner. Gal Gadot goes from you know having somebody great, good looking, and all that. She uh, really underkicks her punt coverage on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say half a waffle for uh, the criminal. All right, and uh, the one that I'm really not looking forward to because I didn't think the first one was that good. Barbershop, the next cut. Oh, well, and this like is like one? number this is like number three, maybe number four if you count the uh, the salon version that they did. I stopped at one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got Ice Cube, he's back, and he's he, he's worried about the neighborhood around the barbershop. Why things just aren't looking good? He's worried about what it's going to do to his kid. So he steps up and takes action, and everybody in the barbershop unites to try to bring peace to Southside Chicago. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you know, it, it, you know. Listen, it's a very funny movie. Obviously, Cedric the Entertainer is in here. JB Smoove is in here. Ice Cube is in here. They're going to make you laugh. And when you're laughing, you're having a good time. But then there's all the sermonizing, and there's all the preaching, and that gets a little bit heavy-handed. So I'm going to say two waffles for Barbershop. Okay. The next cut. All right. So Jungle Book, it is. <laughs> yeah, I would say Jungle Book. But be careful with the little kids. I mean, it is really a dark, scary movie. <laughs> what age would you say? Because I have an 11 year old. Is that good? Uh, the 11 year old has a strong constitution. The 11 year old could handle it. So, yeah, if your 11 year old loves, cool. likes murder and hate <laughs> crimes, then he's going to be perfectly fine. Or just thinks that thinks the sexy voice of Scarlett Johansson is really neat. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he'll love that. He actually does love Scarlett Johansson. Who? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> um, are, do adults like it as much as, say, the kids, not the younger kids? But I would it? hope so. I mean, I really liked it. I thought it was great. I thought the only real problem with the movie is we can't bring back the old songs. They just don't fit in this movie. <laughs> it's not the same tone. <laughs> but you don't understand, Willie. Those old songs are in Disneyland and Disney World. You've got to keep them. It's called pandering. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, welcome to Disney. You're right. <laughs> what do we got next week? Next week, we're going to be talking about Winter's War from the Huntsmen. All right. We'll talk to you next week, Willie. All right. Talk to you then.